So I'm at the Walmart and I didn't realize that they had the Coca-Cola truck out here with the lights and stuff. So I thought I'd do a live while we go in here and see what some of these items are that you should be stockpiling now. They're doing photos with Santa and stuff like that over there. This is so cute. This is the truck. That famous truck. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh, look at Santa. That's really cool. So if you see this at your Walmart, go ahead and get your picture with Santa. So y'all, let's go into the store and see what's happening in there. Some things we need to be stockpiling for our home because I promise you, with the story that I have coming tomorrow, you're gonna wanna start stockpiling. And not say hoarding, but stockpiling. There's a difference. Things that you're actually going to use and rotate through. Welcome into the channel if you are new. This is Tommy Bites T TV and Homestead. My name is Tommy. I'm gonna get a copyright because of this song, but that's okay. We're about to head in. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're in here. If you're not commenting, you can still give it a like. I'm gonna get a buggy because I may end up getting something. How are y'all doing today? I oh, I do have a video coming out. Um, hold on for one second. I do have a video coming out later today as well. But I've been so busy today, hanging lights underneath my sunroom where the grill is. What he was looking at a bug or something okay so some of the things that we need to be trying to stock up for our house is you can do fruits you can even do fresh fruits y'all i know a lot of people think you can't do fresh fruits but you really can all you have to do is dehydrate them and store them on your shelves especially you know during the winter and the non now what's good is dehydrated pineapple it tastes so good. So I need um, some stuff because I'm gonna make me some neck bones, y'all, for tomorrow. I'm not eating today. Today is a fasting day for me. So they do have cabbage, looks like it. They're not out of it like they were the other day the cabbage is 87 cents used to be 67 cents and what I see a lot of people do they pull these off because they you know don't want it heavy they just want the small part of it but I cook all of this stuff all of that the darker the the vegetable you know the more nutrients it has in it but Hey, 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 welcome in. Hey, Lakeisha. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Coletta, how are you? How are y'all doing today? Hey, Victor. It's snowing, Victor. Where you at? It did not snow here. They said that we was going to get like a snow mix on Friday. We did not. It was too warm. Um, like it wasn't hot, but it was, wasn't cold enough. Hey, Lexi, how are y'all? Arkansas in the house. Eggs jump 86 cents. I can believe it. Hey, Jose. Hey, Happy Mac. Hey, Phyllis, how y'all doing this Sunday? This is an impromptu live. So you never know when I'm gonna go live. So make sure your notifications are on. Um. I have to be in the mood for a live. Yeah. 
trying to stay busy. I try to stay busy on my fasting days. I'm going to go over there as soon as some of those people clear out just to see how much it is, y'all. They got um, this cocktail shrimp right here. This is 21 to 25 pounds. Well, shrimp. 17.34. That's for the full one. The half one is 11.96. So let's go over here to the meat because they just cleared out. That's a whole family chair. I can't go shopping like that. I can't have a lot of people with me because I will forget what I need even with a list. Okay, so you see they got some empty spaces here. Yes, definitely keep prepping. Thanks for saying that in there. Hey, from Maryland. Hey, Blaine. Amber. Amber's in Indiana. So, price of meat is not going down. They have, what is this, 2.25 pounds for $8.96. Now, I will say this did go down some. I have this in a different video I haven't put out yet, but this has gone down some. It's now $29.94 for 10 pounds. This had gone up to 30 something dollars. But yeah, y'all, those shortages are coming. If you don't see them now, you're gonna be seeing them next year because they are limiting, they are limiting those um, ships, container ships from coming in. Um, I'm gonna do a story on that. It should be out probably tomorrow. So this one right here is 1976. Eight, no, five pounds. I have my glasses on, y'all. So forgive me. This beef area looks crazy. But you know, you can make jerky with, if you can afford to buy this stuff, you can make jerky with it, put that on your shelves. That's something you could stock up on too. I'm surprised they even have oxtails. They never do. And I'm actually cooking neck bones tonight because I can't afford oxtails. So I'm gonna cook them just like I cook my oxtails and pretend tomorrow that they are oxtails. Cause these right here, this little pack you see here is $9.83 a pound now for oxtails. This pack is 20, this pack is 24, this pack is 22, 27. That's insane. Pork chops are running anywhere from 357 a pound, depending on the type, to 447 a pound. Even this um, turkey here, 11 dollars a pound for the turkey. They barely have any chicken. Jesus Christ. No chicken meat. I was trying to hide my phone, y'all, because you know they <laughs> they don't want you to record this stuff when it started looking like this right here. Honey, they don't want you to record it. I'm breaking the rules right now for y'all. So please give this video a like. What kind of turkeys they got? They still got some 98 cent a pound turkeys. They got them pork chitterlings, chitlins. Um, I'm trying to see who in here. Hey, China, how are you? Crooked arrow. I don't know. I can't make out what's going on, but I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. Um, and when you think about stockpiling stuff, think about stuff that you might not even like. I actually like beef liver. And when you think about the iron that you need to have on a daily basis and stuff like that, um, and you don't want to be taking a whole lot of supplements do it with your food do it with your vegetables because you can get calcium you can get protein you can get iron in a lot of different vegetables as well uh what's over here wait a minute 760 
$7.66 for the party pack, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I like having these type of things in my pantry. You know, I don't eat a lot of sandwiches, but I do like having them. And I make my own chili, but I also have canned chili. You want to have some kind of canned meat in your prepper pantry along with noodles. Now, when it comes to these noodles here, they don't went up, child. They're 30 cents a piece now. But anyway, you can eat the noodles. You don't have to use the packet that's in there because it does have a lot of sodium in it. You can do your own beef broth or whatever with it and of course soups that's a given and try to find some of this stuff on sale now you like buy one get one freeze and stuff like that would be like at your regular grocery stores okay this is the owl I need what owl do they keep the um maybe y'all can tell me like where would they keep like the browning sauce when you're cooking meat i would think it would be over here but i do not see it I've been trying to find browning sauce forever. Oh, they do? And it's so easy to make chili. It's just so easy. I didn't realize how easy it was until I actually made it. And I and I canned it up too. So I have some on my shelf that I can. Oh, maybe this is it. I just, oh, there it is. I feel like this one been over there with the other stuff. So y'all, this is what I've been looking for. And apparently I've been looking in the wrong place. So you find it over here with the um, sauces, hot sauces and stuff. That's gonna help my neck bones um, come out like the uh, oxtails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a video on it, y'all, but it'll probably be on my other channel. I don't know. So, stocking up on Yeah, I got Thank you, Jeanette. I got it, though. Hey, boss man. What's up? How are you, boss man? I don't know how long I'm going to be live on here because my battery was low and I was trying to charge it on my way to the store because I had been recording all morning, tending to the chickens and the rabbits and hanging uh, string lights underneath my where my grill is. So, you know, I'll have lights out there and then I got the bright idea, go to Lowe's and get some string lights and um, put them on your... Um, on your shed next to the chicken coop so it'll be some more light out there in the backyard because y'all sometimes i go out there be early in the morning be so dark and i'm like i still remember i had a fox out here one time so you know i don't even want to go out there in the night but y'all look at this shell child they're cleaning it out they're cleaning it out So, maybe not this milk, but you can get some shelf-stable milk. You can even get powdered milk. I'll show you that when I get on that owl. But this is powdered milk also. You can get these right here. Put them on your shelf. Bake with it. Cook with it. This is the pasta owl what it's looking like they still have some pasta for under a dollar like this pasta over here is 98 cent and then of course the more name brand barilla and mueller you're gonna pay a little bit more for those 
I have used this as a like the protein pasta for the um, spaghetti noodles. It actually tastes good. It don't taste bad. So that's one way to sneak a little extra protein in um, to your meals and stuff. So speaking of canned meats, they have all different kinds. Move over here. Okay, so I don't eat spam, but they have spam for three fifty eight. I do eat corned beef hash. They have the big cans for five thirty four, smaller cans for two eighty eight, and I have a bunch of this brand and this brand at the house. Um, I stopped buying Vienna sausages because they have a lot of salt in them. Now, growing up, I love these, and I thought I would love them. I had bought this brand but i thought i would still want to use them so i had bought some and something say taste it because i haven't feed them to like it was a stray cat around the house and stuff i haven't feed them to the cat and so i tasted them and mm -mm. it was so salty i said no i can't and i was buying them in the packs like this right here and these packs are 876 so i would say if you have high blood pressure like I do, don't buy it because <laughs> you know you don't want to buy it. But I do have these at the house, and these are the sausage cured. The best it'll tell you the best way to cook it, and trust me, cook it that way. Um, what I did was they they cook better with eggs, like actually with the eggs, like not how they have it here. Well, how they have it here is actually with the eggs, but you can't tell that the eggs are in it. And that's to thicken it up. Um, they have, what is this? Stripe, okay, never had that. But they have beef in the can. This is new here, because they have not had this here before. This is $10.98. Just, you know, things have gone up in price. Now, back when I first started, uh, three years ago, stockpiling this stuff didn't cost that much. They even now have the packets with like pulled pork, so you can make like little sandwiches or put them on your salad. Chicken. I have these right here. Also, these are a dollar seventy-eight. Oh, and the spam is three fifty-eight. Depending on the brand that you get, it's three fifty-eight. Can tuna. The sandwiches, and then of course they have the packets over here with the canned tuna and the salmon. Now this is new; I never seen one this small, like this right here. But this little thing is two ninety three because salmon has gone up. These cans be like four dollars and something. So they got the canned vegetables. What it's looking like, and the, you can see. The, their brand is the ones that's gone. When you look up here, you're not really seeing them. You see them kind of full. So, a lot of people are full. Well, the stuff is full in there and it's not empty shells. That's true because people can't afford to buy it. Okay, so seasonings. Make sure you have enough seasonings in your house because don't nobody want no bland food just saying adding beans also is a good way of getting protein in depending on the beans that you get um, like the black beans the red beans and the lima beans and stuff like that these are this is what the sugar is looking like over here So these have gone up. These used to be two dollars for a one pound, if I'm not mistaken. Ten pound bags down there are seven sixty-eight. guessing that that big bag of sugar is $18.76 and that is probably a 20 pound bag 
25 pound bag. And of course, these little oils have gone up. 324 for this little thing. Oh, they got some more oil in, I see. I think I just bought some more from Sam's Club. I'll have to check and see. If not, because I, I get two for $12 now. So... I don't get these anymore, which used to be $4, and now they're $8.97. These right here, I used to stock up on these. I used to have so many of these. I didn't have to buy them for a whole year. They used to be like a dollar. Now they're $2.52. These right here I use when I'm baking because it has the flour in it. So that saves on me using my flour when I'm baking. Apple cider vinegar. They low on vinegar. Other things you can add to your prepper pantry is and i'm giving y'all more than 10 things i just put 10 on there i like getting these just because they're instant but the best ones to get are these down here and add fresh fruit to them or honey or maple syrup and then with the grits it's been a while since they even had these bags back in here and sam's club hasn't had grits in their stores for months now because that's where i usually get like i think you get three bags i don't know how much they were because it's been a while since i bought them so i've been having to just like if they didn't have these in walmart i would get like the little small ones because i don't know what it is with the grits nobody been having them even though i haven't been eating grits i like to have grits because every now and then my husband wants some grits Okay, I just want to see what the cereals look like and the prices of cereals are ridiculous now. So I wouldn't buy cereal out of here. I would wait until like um, Food Lion or Lowe's Food, places like that, Kroger's when I'm in Columbia, South Carolina because we don't have one but when they have like buy one get one free and stuff like that then i would buy cereal but now in food line because food line one year i stocked up they had cereal they were selling them for a dollar and it was only for that one day and i just lucked up that day to be in there and i loaded up i gave my daughter a bunch of it too but this cereal is six dollars and 28 cents what is this 12 ounce box that's insane that is insane so i actually got a cake video coming out at three o'clock on my other channel that i'm going i'm gonna do that as a premiere so y'all make sure y'all go over there at three o'clock which is what it's 2 11 now at three o'clock i'm doing a premiere i'll be in the comments of that cake video um, I tell you I try to stay busy on my fasting days so I'm not sitting around thinking about food which is crazy for me to be in here but I'm not hungry even though I haven't eaten anything so best things to put in your pantry this is one of them these have gone up in price but these are good to have in there like I said, you can bake with them, you can cook with them. Your kids can drink it. Shelf stable milk, the dry milk also, but they have gone up in price. Let's see what the bread owl looks like. 
I'm not gonna go up every aisle, y'all, but Lord, somebody done open up the bread, child. Mm-mm. They don't look too bad with the hot dog and hamburger area. Over here, they do have a lot of bread here, but they don't have a lot of this one, their brand, because it's cheaper. Mind you, it's a dollar thirty-two. It used to be a dollar, so it's gone up. But it's still cheaper than three eighteen. It's still cheaper than three forty-two. I need to update a video and do another bread video of me making some bread. I was gonna try not to do that until I got another oven, but it's gonna be a while before I get another oven. Okay, this is coffee. The coffee out don't look that bad. Yeah, it don't look that bad over here. Oh, how much is this? I broke my coffee maker. This is 12. I don't want white. That's all they got. I'm going to have to look over in the other section and see if I can find like a black one. No, we're not going to go down and chip out. We don't need to go down there. Okay, so over here. Don't forget when you're getting stuff for your stockpile for emergencies like bad weather. It doesn't have to be like a virus or anything like that. Just bad weather you can't get out. Adding forks, spoons, things like that. Cups where you don't have to wash dishes because you, you know, just don't want to be doing it. Paper plates. Area don't look that bad. They even got some on top. Last time I came in here, they didn't have any. And I was like, what's going on? Wait a minute. Is this, am I missing something on the news or whatever? Okay. Adding aluminum foil, Ziploc bags to your pantry also. It comes in handy, especially if you dehydrate or you just want to put some food away and you don't want all those bowls and stuff in your refrigerator and then add in trash bags because you want to discard of the items that you're making. Oh, let me look over here. Because I was looking for some, I hope they got some in because yesterday they did and that's why I really came in here for that browning that I have. And also I needed some more ham hocks, but they ain't had none. All he had was um, smoked turkey. I didn't want that. I don't want no turkey. I might have to go to a different store on a different day. Well, two day because I'm cooking at two day. So when I leave from here, I go to another store. Yeah, all they have is, what is this? Turkey tail? Oh, smoked pork tails. And smoke neck bones I didn't want that to put in my um my cabbage so I'm doing tomorrow my well I'm cooking it today but my dinner for tomorrow is gonna be cabbage and smothered neck bones that hopefully will taste like oxtails and <laughs> um what else a little bit of rice on the side and I'm gonna have some vegetables inside of the um, with the um, neck bones oh wait I didn't go up that other aisle because I was looking for a cleaner I need a cleaner So people have their choice, their their choice, and if they choose the creepy baby on the on the package, right here, <laughs> I hear a lot of people saying, "Ooh, the creepy baby on the package." These right here, I don't even know the price for them. I think they're eight forty four for those. But I need, I might go to Sam's and get that. I need this right here. I need this right here. I need the mop so bad. Either that or. Just get a cheap mop for now. 
and do that later. We're gonna go old school. How much is this mob? Eight dollars. The stick. What? Are, how much is this one? Five, two dollar. I take a two dollar mop, y'all. I'm a, I'm a two dollar mop that thing today. I could get this and put it on my other mop head. I should just do this one. But I'm cheap. I can't get it off. I think it's two dollars, y'all. Y'all don't laugh at me, but I'm sure about to use this little cheap. <laughs> Mama, this little cheap mop. Because I'm refusing to pay six dollars for another head. Well, this one's four dollars. But I don't think that goes to my. No, that don't go to my mop. That's different. That is totally different. How much is this one? Oh, I like this one better. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this sponge mop. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna get that one. Cause my daughter was like, I would have mop. Cause she cleaned the kitchen. She's like, I would have mop, but I couldn't find the mop. I said, well, I need another mop head anyway. So I'm gonna see if she gonna mop. If she don't, I will, though, because I need them all. So we're going to get that. Okay. Cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. Where is... I like my cleaners from Target, though, because they don't have it in here, the one that I use. I might have to use something different. Oh, maybe they do have it. Is this it? Oh, this is it. I have this one. I think it's this one. Antibacterial method. It's by method. But I think I'm going to do the all purpose one. French. The, oh, yeah, French lavender. I'll do that. I'll do that. I need, I need to clean. Okay, let's go over here. See what is next that we can get. Well, that we can talk about. Pumpkin spice. I went to um, Bath and Body Works yesterday and got two candles. It was. They was having their candle sales. Y'all know their candles cost a lot, but they had them for $9, the big candles. So making sure you have like your cleaning supplies and stuff. Now mind you, if your power out, you ain't using no washing machine, but you can still wash. And then when you're done with these, cause I get these kind, but when you're done with them, don't throw them away. What I do with mine is I fill them with water I, and then I use for another wash and then I fill it with water again. I label it gray water, meaning I can do everything with that, like wash stuff, whatever, clean. You can't drink it, but you can do whatever with it. So, and then it, it, it'll be smelling good while you're cleaning your house. Hmm. I haven't tried this yet. I heard it was good because I got some pans I need to clean. I have this, but I'm going to try this. That's $3.94. cents. Okay, we're about to head over to the eggs. What the water look like? Oh, they stocked up today. They socked up today. Oh, I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it. Um, this 
$3.97 for this little thing. Ooh, my battery's low. So if I die, y'all, if this goes out, I apologize. Hey, Pink. Hey, Crooked Arrow. I think I spoke to you. Susan. Yeah, that's a good, good tip. Don't just go out buying a whole bunch of stuff you ain't never tried before because you get it and you don't like it. You're going to be trying to give it away to somebody. Okay. Oh, they done went up again, y'all. The price of eggs done went up again, y'all. Do y'all see this? Two weeks ago, no, three weeks ago, they were five dollars six cents. A week ago, they were six dollars seven cents. Now they are eight dollars and thirty eight cents. So, when I tell you, this is insane. That's exactly why I put more cayenne pepper in my chicken because I was gonna let them stop, but I, I said no. Uh, uh they going up on the price of eggs. These chickens gonna lay for me all winter. So I put cayenne pepper in their water. Um, I got five eggs out of there. So far, I got like two cartons of eggs. My mother-in-law gave me a carton over Thanksgiving, but I didn't like her eggs because when I boiled them. Her shells are thin. I think her chickens need more calcium. Um, and I make sure I, I, my, my chickens get calcium. I give them the eggs back. Of course, I crumble them up and stuff, but you can do that. And I give them the um, shells mixed in their food. But that's crazy, $8. Hey, Jen. Where you at, Rock? I didn't realize that. Well, I, I kind of figured it. That's why I told y'all like a few weeks back. I said, we're going to keep an eye on this. Every time we come here, I'm going to check them eggs and see where they are. Because I had a feeling. I had a feeling they were going to go up. And these have gone up to the 12. They're 173. So they were a little bit cheaper last week than they are now so i'm gonna keep an eye on those as well i think these were maybe three dollars i can't remember well no because they won't keep the price on them they didn't have the price on them i'm thinking this is the price uh, no that's 12. Child. they doing too much too much so, you can also freeze milk if you didn't know that. You can. My child is calling me, so I know I'm about to get off in a few minutes and see what that looks like. Ooh, what in the world? try to keep some sour cream in the house it's 248 for this uh, one pound that's good keep stocking up because let me tell you um, people saying well the prices is too high for me to stock up right now well if you think they're gonna go down and you wait and then some some kind of emergency happens, whether it's weather related, man made, um, whatever it is. Then you out there and you paying full price. I told my husband the other day, I said, I'm so thankful. Like that day we spent all that money in the store, me and him. I said, I know we spent a lot of money just now, but think of how much money we would have had to spend for those other extra things like hangers and stuff that we already have sitting in our pantry i said so i feel blessed that we got out and um we did all of that at that time because 
who knew that it would go up uh, the way that it has. So this is what the formula is looking like. I'm going over to um, my normal area where I have to, I just have to go over to housewares all the time. But yeah, I'm about to get, what time is it? 2.27. Three more minutes, I'm going to get off y'all because um, I'm going to have to charge my phone up before my other video goes uh, premiere on my other channel, Tom Wright's Life, at 3. So, I got to definitely charge my phone up. Um... Down here, I can't. <laughs> that's crazy. Them eggs is eight dollars and thirty six cent. I, I can't wait to see what they are in a couple of days when I come back in here and just take a quick looky loo. is riding a little baby bike and so gets off the, the, the answer his phone hey. let me tell you these kids is something else in the store okay. i always just be looking because i'm like one of these days i'm going to tackle my pantry that's in my kitchen and get that thing organized because it needs organization so bad $12.99 for lunch meat what kind of lunch meat ham turkey hopefully not bologna because that's bologna if it is yep by a portable charger for for your phone, I need that for sure. Feel free to gift that to me. I want a budget, can't buy nothing. Oh, I need a new one of these. I have a big food saver, but these little ones well, this is the one I have, actually. This big one. This bulky one. I wish I had a, like, smaller one that I could just plop out and do or whatever. And then here's a food and jerky dehydrator they have. I have a big one, but I don't have it out where I can use it yet. Because um, we just aren't done with our little island piece. These are cute. These are cute. <laughs> so y'all keep stocking up. Go through your house, look in your cabinets, look wherever you keep your food and stuff at, and just see what you already have. Make a list of it and how often you make certain meals, you know, because you can put together a, a, a shopping trip where you're shopping for meals, not just individual things. Like, this is going to make this meal that we eat all the time. And then get enough of that where you can have it, um, say, if you eat that meal every week so you know you need four of those things so that's how i i go about doing stuff i think about what we're gonna eat or whatever what i need for that meal what ingredients and i do it that way those are cute oh okay i need one of these 
I've been making my husband eat at the table, though, y'all. He be making a mess. I say, you worse than them kids. Every time you get a drink and you in the room, you wasting it. Here I am, got to come behind you with the spot shot trying to clean it. I got these on sale for $39. These right here. I have a red one and I have a blue one already. I want a white one, though. I'm trying to wait until um, we do get a new oven because the way that fire come up on that, that white pot will be black. Okay, y'all. I'm about to get up out of here. I'm going to go look at the medication. And then I thank y'all for coming in. Um, feel free to share out this video or any of my other videos. And also... Come join me over on the other channel, Tommy Bites Life. The link is in the in the description box. And um, we do that live over there. Well, it's a premiere, but it works like a live. So let's see. Because <clears throat> they were low on their cold medicine uh, a few days ago. So I'm going to see if they've gotten a delivery yet. Um, they, they haven't gotten a delivery over here because they're still kind of low on these right here. And then up here, I bought one of these last night, $7.28. Um, insane. I need... Ooh, no, that cost too much. Even the generic is expensive. It's eight ninety eight, <laughs> and then if you get two, it's nineteen ninety seven of the Dayquil. That is the generic over here. Same thing, eight ninety eight. Other brand, eleven ninety seven. So you just gotta be like, look at the ingredients on them. Make sure the ingredients are the same, and then get it. Um, but I wouldn't pay that if I can get the same ingredients over here because you're just paying for this name right here. But yeah. So y'all take care. Thank y'all for coming in. I'm about to go down to the other end of the store and check out. I appreciate y'all. And I see y'all later on today at about 5, 5.30. I'm going to do the video that's coming up as a premiere so i'll be in the comments again over there well over here three o'clock on tommy bites live five o'clock back here so i hope y'all join me see you in the next one i love you but god loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread god's love peace love and light thanks for being here on tommy bites tv homestead and I'm going to have more homesteading on this channel, but I'm probably going to do it like every Sunday.